welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is super exciting because we have a huge surprise. We got a new tractor. It's going good, thank you. How was your day? Good, good, good. I'm here with Ken from Frontline Egg Solutions and you delivered the tractor, so thank you so much. You bet. What kind of tractor is it? It's a John Deere 6195R. That's awesome. The R is got all the whistles and bells. It's a nice tractor. Oh, well that's incredible. We're very excited to have it. You bet, yeah. It'll sure be different than what you've had in the past. Yes, we're using it to operate the grain back and we'll do a lot of different things on the farm. You bet. It'll do everything that you want to do, I'm sure. That's too. awesome. And this is the tractor that it's replacing. Our Massey Ferguson, which you've seen in a couple of my videos. The trailer breaks apart in the middle to make it easy to back things off of. Am I going? I wear gloves. Oh, me too. <laughs> That's how you handle that. Oh, I like to go out on deliveries because we I gotta tell you, this is uh, about the quickest load I'd seen. You guys were in unloaded before I put my drone uh, you, you together. Got to see us during harvest. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah. And we're saying bye to the old Massey Ferguson. Bye. Oh, so, anyway, this thing is. That's your variable speed. It's good. Does this have an IVT? Mm -hmm. And what does this thing do? That that takes you up in the speeds or you can bump it. Isn't that quiet? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, for the loader to work, if you grab that joystick and pull back. Are you excited for your new tractor, Uncle Chris? No, I'm not excited <laughs> for the payments. <laughs> Everything comes with payment. Yes. Yeah, I was ready. It, it was good to get that other one down the road. It was time for it to belong to someone else. Yeah, we had the tires moved up because they were way in. Oh, really? Yeah, this, is, this thing was sticking out about that far, so they moved the tire out. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that was the right decision. See where they were? Oh, the all left. the way in there. Yeah. Is it that 1,000 BPO? There? Yeah. It says 1,000 in there. You, you better go in there and have them tell you the result. Looks complicated. <laughs> But we'll, we'll probably put a tie on it, you know, green for left, red for right, or, you know. On the, the yeah, hoses, yeah. yeah. Because the, these are all color-coded and so are your switches in the cab. Well, that'll help. That'll you know. help, yeah. Uncle Chris is now driving the tractor to the bins, but he pulled over because there's another tractor coming down the road. Up. Now I'll give you a tractor walk around. It is hooked to our grain back VRX now so we can load a semi. It's a really awesome tractor. There's your tractor walk around. Uncle Chris is trying out the lights on the tractor now. I'm not believing humans actually answered this phone. This new John Deere tractor to the farm is a 6195R and it has a 680R loader on it. So it is very cool. And it's probably the newest tractor we've ever had on the farm. It's not brand new, it's new used, but it doesn't have very many hours at all. Now we are going to give you an inside tractor cab tour. Oh, the steering wheel moves cool. This is inside the new tractor. Yeah, we don't know much about it, except we got a fly in here already. This is the gear shift thingy. Probably the blinker, maybe, sparcher, something, lights, maybe, wiper. It looks so foreign. Look at all the lights on the dash. Kid. Wow, look at the screen. Here's your your fuel. Here we got the throttle deal thing he found over here that he thinks makes the loader hold the same angle. 
So we're going to level the loader top out by doing this. Oh no, wait. Oh, we're going to make the loader top of a loader level, kind of. And then we're going to put this button on. Okay, now we're going to raise the loader. The top should stay flat instead of coming like this, Kate. Oh, okay. We'll see if it does. And it is. See, it's staying flat. That's the leveler for the loader, so that's a good thing if you're like have oil barrels or you know something you don't want to tip out of the bucket. Yes. Instead of tip back or forward, it'll hold its own. Oh, and it shows your hydraulics on your screen. That is cool. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. And then it's got this little uh, toggle dealy here to uh, to work the grapple for the like if you had bales or something. Oh, and it even has a sunroof. Wow, that is cool. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That's what you need, more sun in the tractor cage. Yes, we've never had a tractor with a sunroof before. No, we have. So we'll set the bucket back down. And all these buttons are really awesome too. Is it touch screen? I don't think it is touch screen. Very cool, we don't have one of those either. And then it's got these three fancy buttons, but no one knows what they do here. Oh, are those not hydraulics? I think they are. But see, oh yeah, they're hydraulics and they're color coordinated. Ken from John Deere was telling us that. No one knows what that means. That is funny. Oh look, it even has a phone button. Can you make phone calls on it? Yeah, I'm sure it's Bluetooth capable, okay? Wow, I didn't even know tractors could do that. See, this device is not currently paired. Default tractor run page. Oh, it gives you an average and an instant? Wow, that is really amazing. Swap track, whatever that means. Oh, maybe this might be if you have a GPS thing hooked onto it. So you can run a GPS line this way and have one going east too. Auto track activation required. So you have to buy the monitor and pay them for allowing it to work. <laughs> rear one would only go up to 2.3 probably and rear two 15.4, but nobody should be driving backwards 15 miles an hour on track for virtually no reason. And this is uh, front one is two, that's probably like low. Front two is anywhere up to 18. Oh, that makes sense. See this, this thing here is your kind of your transmission thing. So it's kind of like what I used to shift in in the tractor? Yeah, it's something like that. So for this is a, this is an IVT. It's any speed that you want. It's got a little clicky thing here. You know, the thing moves to increase speed. And then you can do this. And this is speed for slow. It's snail down Oh here. my gosh, it has snail rather than turtle. Yeah. It still has rabbit though. So this is probably your speed range for your low speed range for your high. So a person actually should read their book on it. Okay, this thing is burning 0.8 gallons an hour. Now if we rev it up, let's see what it, if that changes. Yeah, see it? Yes. 1.1 gallons an hour at, what's the RPM? Oh wait, it's here. <laughs> it, it could have been on the gauge too, you never know. Oh look it, this is all it'll let it go to. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Chris pushed this echo thing. No, it doesn't have a light on it. It has a little area for a light. See, these are the reasons you have to read your book. I don't know what picture that is. This is your forward and reverse. Like if you're picking bales, you go up and you grab the bale. You know, this probably sets your overall speed. Then you just click this back. It will just back right up. No clutch, nothing probably. Wow, this that's awesome. This is supposed to be really cool, but... You know, never expecting to get to drive or ride in one of these in my life. This is just an incredibly amazing tractor. And the technology in it is outstanding. Uh -huh. Ooh, there's the tractor. This is probably guidance ready. I would have to do it because it's already got the screen case. It's by the globe and pay them to turn it on. So. What would you use this for in a field that you would need guidance? Planning anything, you know. This is a big tractor some places, you know. It's a, Everybody wants these, that's why they're This pricing. is, yes. This is 195 horsepower, which is really cool. So how many horsepower is the tractor I was driving for drill? Uh, 
530, right? Yes. How much horsepower do you need to run our drills? 300 probably at least. But to pull them hills, Kate, when you fill it up, you know, you need... 400? Maybe. Them kind of hills you do. Yes. If you've seen this rock, you can mark it. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness, my, that is awesome! That too, but, you know, who has time to do all that? But then that data has to go somewhere. It's stored in the computer. You have to, you maybe have to download it. They want you to buy these programs that, that download it to the cloud, then you retrieve it back out of the cloud for your own records or something. I don't know. That's a good idea. Computer. What's this all about? <laughs> on this shoulder too. Here's an overview of these buttons. We're not really sure what they do entirely. No. Oh, what's the yellow and That's what are the these? That's thing. Oh, okay. And it has a toolbox here. And there's a different PTO shaft in there. Oh, awesome. And the seat folds down even. Oh, and there's a box up here too. Oh, this has something in it. This doesn't look good. That was spare circuit board. How Ooh. good could that be? <laughs> but we don't know. Let's get out of here. What are those buttons up there? Uh, mirrors. Oh, mirrors. Oh my gosh, you it's can... got a heated mirror too. Really? Wow. And here's something to control some sort of light thing. Yeah. See how your screen goes with it? That is amazing. And it even has and I'm directions. Sure blows up and down, but you'd have to figure that Over out. Over here. It even has joystick directions stuck on the window. Yeah, once you could learn to read Chinese, it'd probably be great. This is such an amazing tractor. It is. It's way cool. You can't even move it now because it's hooked up to the grain bin. You know, you're looking at the gear shift on and you just can't touch anything. Yes. We are going to try it out and load a truck with it. So it's already Maybe. got a job. Yeah. Now this is replacing our Massey Ferguson tractor and we mostly use it to load trucks with the grain vac and to run the grain vac because it has a PTO. What else would we use this tractor for? A loader, pushing snow in the winter, you know, anything. This, this is a versatile tractor, you know. Yes. It's a good, good thing. Pulling the roller or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. That would be fun. But then you want auto steer. Remember? Yes, that would be nice. Yeah, so you don't have to pay attention to where you're going all day. Like now, why did we decide to trade in the Massey Ferguson? Uh, it was just having problems? Well, I would code up a little bit, and these just work better for us for some reason. We don't know. We prefer John Deere tractors. But we had it quite a while, and it, it ran a lot of grain through this vac case. You know, this is just a little newer version, and it's not brand new, but it's, it's in... It's the newest thing we've ever had, so anyway. Yes, it is. 261 hours on it. And we're in a thousand economy. We're not sure what that means, but I know how to change it anyway. We got the bucket down, so we'll turn the hydraulics off. Joystick, lock, and gauge, so that you can move this and ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, that's nice. You have to turn the hydraulics on. It's a safety feature. Look how thick the book is, Kate. So this is the book. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is major thick. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's a college course all in one. Yeah, for every single one of your tractors. Oh, the truck's here Whoa. that we're loading. This is inside the tractor again. This is out the window. You can see the grain back. That black thing over there is to mount another computer on or different screens. It's a really, really cool tractor and we're so excited to have it. A compartment for snacks. Oh, and it has a little visor for the sun. That is really awesome. And one on the front too. Very amazing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching the new tractor come to the farm. It was so exciting and we love it so much. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn more about how your food gets to your table. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. On TikTok, make sure you're following my official account, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G. All other accounts are imposters. You can also visit the Kate's Egg website, K-A-T-E-S-A-G dot com, to learn a little bit more about my story. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!